Democracy was a big point of President Museveni as he took office for the sixth term, lauding the NRM regime for championing a pro-people structure with a system of inclusion. It is therefore quite comic and laughable to hear of some actors in the world giving, giving just lectures about democracy. You give me lecture about democracy? Back home, the feeling isn't mutual. Political players, observers and the academia argue that this has since taken a downward trend with one party NRM dominating the space. NRM is moving towards going back to the movement kind of uh, leadership where there are no political parties but everybody is under the same umbrella. We, we, are, we are kind of stagnated democratically. This, coupled with a shrinking civic space, they argue that democracy is working on shaky grounds. This cabinet will go down as one which catalyzed, lubricated, enhanced the unprecedented capture of our state. What you then begin to see is the concentration of power in the presidency and the president. In other words, everything starts and ends with him. Museveni said he and his cabinet would fight corruption, yet the most scandalous events came with the Karamoja ancient scandal, a case that cannot be expounded further because it is still before court. Although it was hyped, uh, I don't think there was a classical corruption scandal that you would say was going to bring the heavens down. And anybody who tries to downplay corruption should not be taken really as a serious person, even though that person is a minister. No, to focus on the negatives, amid a COVID-19 recovering economy, peace and stability have been realized in spite of the disturbances from the ADF. Victoria Bagaya, NBS, Level 9.